What is up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? It's your boy, Real Good Doty, coming at y'all with another YouTube video. Yes, I came back with the Supreme Box logo. Um, I would say this is like a low-key, like, I don't know, like, military design or some type of shit. Anyways, today I got another topic for you is accountability. So in relationships, accountability is huge because accountability is the ability for you to be able to admit when you're wrong towards something. And a lot of us in relationships, we don't have accountability. And why we don't have accountability is because of our ego. Our ego is what is preventing us from being able to own up to our mistakes. It could be as simple as, you know, not getting the right movie times or, you know, saying you're going to do something and you don't end up doing it. You know, that's when you have to have accountability. And when you're in a relationship where you can't admit to even those small things, that's what leads to failed marriages and relationships. And I've been in plenty in I've been in plenty of relationships where I lacked accountability and my partner lacked accountability. It wasn't just my partner, it was me too at times when I was disrespectful to her and I wasn't able to admit that I was wrong about it. Why was I unable to admit? It's because of my ego, because I was so prideful. You know, I felt that, you know, I'm not wrong, you know, this is who I am, take it or leave it. Now I can understand, you know, if your partner disrespects you and calls you out your name and you put your foot down, then you don't have to have accountability for calling them out on that. You don't. And if your partner is telling you that you shouldn't be talking to them like that, well, they shouldn't be talking to you like that. And they're the ones lacking accountability. They're the ones who are pretty much gaslighting you. And that is a type of narcissism that I will talk about in another video that I make. But yeah, that is a lack of accountability on their end. But, you know, some of the best relationships and marriages have accountability. And when you're able to have accountability, it's such a beautiful thing because nobody's pride is in the way. Everybody is present. People are able to self-reflect on certain situations and they're able to be like, you know what, babe, I was wrong about that. I shouldn't have said that. You know what? That, that was on me. That's my bad. You know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. Or it's a beautiful thing when it, even a woman is all like, you know what, boo? That was on me. I shouldn't have said that to you. I know you've been going through a lot at work and, you know, you've been stressed out. But, you know, I, I shouldn't be talking to you like that. I shouldn't be complicating things for you. You know, I need to be your woman. I need to be on your side. That is such a beautiful thing when a woman is in her feminine and especially has accountability because a lot of women lack accountability. And I'm not trying to disrespect women, but it is true. A lot of women lack accountability. And for a woman to admit that she's wrong about something, that is pretty big, <laughs> in my opinion. But back to what I was saying, accountability. But yeah, accountability is huge. Because when you have accountability in relationships, you're able to communicate better. And when you're able to communicate better, the relationship gets stronger and stronger and stronger because you don't feel that... You're walking on eggshells with that person. You don't feel that if you say certain things to that person that they're doing to you that you don't like, it's going to be a fight. Because that person has accountability. They have self-awareness. They're able to understand where you're coming from and process everything. Especially after you have conversations. Because a lot of times in conversations, when it comes to both of y'all discussing, you know y'all's issues, one person can't wait to say what they want to say while the other person is listening to that person and understanding where they're coming from. Or y'all both can't wait to finish, you know, y'all both can't wait till that person is done talking. Or y'all just interrupt each other in the middle of talking. And that's just a terrible way to communicate. And it's zero accountability, which most likely will lead to a failed relationship and marriage if you're married. 
And this is why I'm saying accountability is huge. Because accountability will make you a better person. Um, it will also make you easier to be around because people will be able to communicate with you. Um, you also will make you a better employee because a lot of employers, look at that. A lot of employers want to have employees that they can communicate with when they make a mistake. And if you don't have accountability to where you're constantly clapping back or fighting, you're not going to be employed very long. Or if you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to have accountability because your mentor, if you don't have a, if you didn't reach your deadline, your mentor is going to call you out on that. And if you're not able to hold yourself accountable to that, they're not going to want to mess with you. So this is why accountability is huge. Not just in relationships, not just in marriage, but you know, from a work standpoint, a friend standpoint, and also if you want to be an entrepreneur. But anyways, guys, that's another video that I got for you. Um, please leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I know I got about 47 subscribers, but please, guys, let's keep the channel growing. And um, I'm going to be on Tales from the Crib tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be doing our playoff picks for week one. Anyways, guys, I'm out.